Hello there and welcome to Knox Travels. I'm Neil and today I'm here in Amami Beach Resort. This is the uh, beach resort I'm staying in in Porto Galera. I have booked a tree house today or for the next two days um, on this beach resort. So I'm staying in a nice tree house in a beach. I booked this place because it seemed the most rustic. I didn't want to go for a, a luxury hotel or, um, or anything like that. I wanted something a bit more down to earth, uh, a bit more real life. So uh, this seemed like a perfect place. And um, you always know when you got a nice rustic place like this, the, um, the people are gonna be fr fantastic. They're gonna, they're gonna be brilliant. I've been to um, a resort very similar to this before and um, the service was fantastic and I expect, uh, <laughs> well, I won't expect anything, but um, I, I presume the, the service will be just as good. They all, everyone I spoke to downstairs were all very friendly, all very happy to be on the vlog, so um, fantastic. Okay, so we have arrived here in uh, Puerto Galera. Time to uh, find my scooter. To the road, hit the road. <laughs> Hello. Hotel, yes. It's a mommy. Okay, so we've got a environmental fee. I hope I better have change for a thousand. Okay, so the environmental fee is uh, one twenty for the tourist, not resident, not resident. For the residents would know that anyway. Salamat. What is my vlog? <laughs> shout out! He gets the shout out! We have arrived. Nice easy exit there. Pay the environmental fee. Off we go. We can leave. It's uh, 120. That's like... Just under... What? Yeah, just under two pounds. No problem. And uh... We should. Yeah, I'm looking for our scooter man around here somewhere. He said he'd be waiting. Huh? <laughs> I have a motorbike. Yes. No, oh, I already booked one. Booked. This one here? Yeah, I think this is him. Hello? I have a booking. I think this is you, Chris. Chris, yes? Today. Oh, I have a booking now. Yeah. Neil Harwood. I book a uh, Bergman. Neil Harwood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's me. Go straight, literally straight as you get off the port. Nice and easy. And that's what I thought was uh, would be the best bet. We'll let, my, let this guy do his do his stuff, work his magic. And hang on, Pangal and Mo. Uh, Jerome. 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 Uh, uh, Okay, Galang. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. I've used my Tagalog. There we go. The various shop outlets, in fact. Well, here. Hello, doggy. It's not interested. Not interested in me. Uh -huh. There we go. There's my bike. Oh, this is handy. Having this, give me directions. I mean, I put my phone on there, get directions. Scratch <laughs> there. Scratch is here. All looks good. Nothing, um, nothing major. Just a few little scratches. So, uh, just make sure. That is all do documented. There we go. A waiver okay, waiver. Yes, I'll read the waiver. Okay, so I've just spotted a nice cold drink over here. 
Magandang umaga. Ano ito? Ano? Mango juice. Mango. Oh, 10 peso. Um, you have large? Just small. <laughs> okay. Talawa po. Oy. Oh, this is what I need. I've got a couple of cans. Very expensive cans in the shop. And I've got this uh, delicious, fresh mango juice here. That's what I should have done straight away. Okay. <laughs> okay, lang. Salamat po. Delicious. Mmm. Exactly what I need. A couple of uh, nice juices. Hello, Kamusta ka? Okay, Kalang? Uh oh? You speak English? You speak English? <laughs> yes? <laughs> she does? I, I got a nod. That's good enough for me. She knew what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kalang? Live? Uh, not live, uh, recording, video. Video. Ah. Salamat! Ingat! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Cute girl. Hi! Okay, Kalang? Okay, Lang. Oh. Hello. Come on, Saka. Mabuti. Everyone's Mabuti. Oh, Mabuti. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, got to go. I bought loads of them snacks in here. This is a great place to come and buy some snacks. I got a whole bag full of stuff. And they even gave me discount. <laughs> Bye. Um. So after my uh, first time on a scooter, made it here, nice and slowly, took it nice and easy, and go in and check in to uh, our beach resort. I do, yes. It's Neil Harwood. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> he likes a shout out. <laughs> oh, my age. Don't tell him my age. You're 18, I know. Yes, yes. And I'm 16. 18 lang. <laughs> I'm sweet 16. I just 16? started yesterday. Oh, baby face. <laughs> uh, here? Yeah, so, name. Neil. Neil. <laughs> Age. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> and um, one, one contact number. Contact number. Oh, yes. Family <laughs> nine. You are room six in the tree house. Yes. Is it nice? Yeah. I thought it's, own private balcony. It sounds the most interesting. <laughs> I will check uh, the room first and then we'll, uh, I will drink my drink. Yeah. I got a nice welcome drink here. Unless it's going on my bill. I'm not going on my bill. <laughs> well, welcome drink. <laughs> and on Pagan Mo. My name uh, Palap I Glenn. Glenn? Yeah, Glenn. Oh. This is Glenda. This Glenn, is Glenda. Hello. Pearl? Yeah. Pearl. Yeah. Pearl. Yeah. Gem. Gem. Yeah, the, the preggy. Oh, pearl and gem. I'll remember that because uh, pearl and gem. Gem. And it's, <laughs> yeah. a pearl is a gem, yeah? Yeah. And Glenn and Glenda. Glenda, Very similar. Yeah. Glenda. Yes. I remember. I'll remember that. <laughs> uh. 
I um, hired a scooter and it's my first time on a scooter. Oh. So I was a bit, ooh, ooh. <laughs> careful. <laughs> Where are you from, sir? I'm from UK. Uh, yeah. The accent. Yeah. <laughs> people, people laughing at me trying to speak Tagalog. Yeah. I say po. And everyone laughs at po. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know why. Is uh, Mindoro Tagalog speaking? Mainly Tagalog. Yeah, Tagalog. Yeah, it doesn't have a separate language. Uh, they no have dialect, a dialect. No the dialect. native uh, people uh, here. They have like a. Ah, uh, the Mangyans. Yeah. Native uh, dialect. Uh, so they have their own dialect, yeah. but the general people here, just to go along. Ah, uh, good. Novisayas. <laughs> you speak Visayas? No, just Tagalog. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Check out the room. Okay, salamat. Okay. Let's have a little look at the room now, see what we can see, see what my view is like. Oh, what's this? This is interesting, isn't it? Little cubby, cubby hole. Don't know what that is. Okay, we got this in here. Something I will do is um, hang a few of my mosquito repellents around because it's very open. Maybe yeah. Uh, so it's a small one. Nothing that huge. Got a nice bed. It sound feels nice and springy. Ooh. Nice, uh, there we go. Nice basic shower. <laughs> oh, they don't have, they haven't. I thought it was going to be just drop over. They do have a shower, but you never know. I think I might go full on Filipino style and use the dropper. I probably might even, uh, well, I might as well do it now. So, um, in the Philippines, commonly. They wouldn't have a shower or a bath. They would have this bucket. And what you do is you fill the bucket with water. And then you have your, your dropper. And you take your dropper and then tip it. And then tip the nice cold water all over there. Nice and refreshing. And then to use the, the dropper for everything, for um, for cleaning yourself, for um, cleaning yourself after your toilets. <laughs> They'd use it for the dropper for everything. That's um, what they would use. So, yeah. a little uh, example of a uh, Filipino life. The real Filipino, oh, the real, real Filipino life outside of um, luxury hotels and uh, the expensive condos in BGC. <laughs> Not that I've been to BGC. But there we go. Okay, there's the bathroom. Oh, we have uh, two fans. Obviously, no air conditioning. <laughs> Um, somewhere to relax. It's a really nice breeze out here, actually. It's shaded from the sun, but a really nice breeze. Oh, is <laughs> that a chicken just chasing chasing a dog? <laughs> oh, he's got chicks. 
Go check out the rest of the resort and the beach. Very nice. And over here, we have a nice little swinging hammock. There we go. Doggies. And there. This is my run. This is where I'm spending the next two days. Here and uh, here and going out and about exploring. Let's go check out the rest of this resort and see what it's like. Okay, so we're right by the beach here on, uh, on the hotel. So uh, step down. Oh, it comes right up, literally right on the beach. Oh, yes, this is, must, be, must be high tide here. Let's have a look. Oh, so you wonder what he's doing? Catching fish. Just playing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the car. Okay, lang. where a river comes. I should have probably took my shoes off. Oh. There we go. Have a little walk around, shall I? Snuffling Beach. are from um, the Mangyan village. Ah, yes. Hello. Kamustaka. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, name? Basket shop native product. <laughs> Uh, Mangyan. Mangyan. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Mami. Mangyan, this is Mami. Ah, Mami. I go Mangyan tomorrow. In tomorrow morning. Mami Anna. Mami Anna. She's saying, don't get it over here. Get it here. Don't go. <laughs> I bet it's more expensive. <laughs> we have some buko over here. Nice buko. Uh, let's go. If you wear shoes, then you're overdressed. Oh dear. Well, I am taking my shoes off. And I'm in slippers now. So there we go. Very nice. Gotta see some prices. Let's check out some prices in here whilst I'm having a wander. Oh, someone's been drinking Red Horse. 
Room massage, certified 600 pesos. Motorbike rental 500. See, it's cheaper here. Uh, uh, we have Blue Cucumber Lagoon. So we got cocktails around two. 280, 270, 280. Four pounds. Happy hour, take one. Buy one, take one. Enjoy the uh, happy, happiest hour from 4 to 6 pm. What's time? Oh, it is a happy, happy hour. Buy one, take one. I've got orange, Malibu, pineapple. Oh, 200. So you get buy one, take one, and it's good. Oh, might as well, uh, I should suppose I should get that. What we got? Malibu. I suppose that's Cucapina, isn't it? Cucapina? Is that what it's called? Cuba Libre. Cuba Libre. Um, my wife told me Libre the other day, uh, earlier, what Libre meant. No, it's probably meaning something else, because it was she said it was something to do with throwing it or something away. Throwing it away. Libre. Meaning, oh, treat. Treat. Libre is treat. Ah. Uh, Long Island iced tea. There we go. Here's some foods. So it's a uh, Italian style. Italian style. Oh, I don't know Asian food here on the back. Chicken poppy dog. Wonder if they have pussy. Some gang doing all that. Okay, so I've tried the dinner at Amami Beach Resort. I'm going to have the most popular Filipino dish. I haven't had it since I've been here. But um, I do love it. It's um, adobo, I think. Yeah, I went for pork. Pork adobo. It is probably the um, most famous Filipino dish. All you do is put bits of it with your rice. So have your rice. And like in our videos, I say, the bit on the side, the meaty bit on the side, is your ulam. My ulam is adobo pork. Okay, let's see how the, uh, the adobo tastes. Get this really uh, lovely dark sauce, pour all over your rice. Oh, delicious. Let's uh, eat. Get in a tile. That's adobo. It's um, soy sauce and vinegar base with a few other bits and pieces like peppercorns, garlic maybe. Maybe hit some sweetness in there, some sugar. Maybe I think maybe brown sugar. Bay leaf there. You see. Mm. Potatoes are great. Soak up that sauce. But yeah, taste-wise, it's not vinegary. I wouldn't say it's vinegary at all. If you think that um, adobo is going to be vinegary, yeah, it's not. A, I would. Let me let me get an actual piece of the uh, sauce. Mm. Very soy, a slight bit of vinegar there, you can taste. But I'd liken it more to a barbecue flavour. 
a soy, a very soy barbecue flavour. It's very much soy in taste. Delicious, absolutely lovely. Mm, you get the nice um, it's a fat with the pork. You can get you can get a chicken one. You can get all sorts of adobo. I even had um, adobo cashew nuts. Yes, uh, Friday. So adobo can come in many forms. It's the flavour, and then you could just add your different meats, vegetables, fish. Anything you want. Mm. I've got a big list of uh, Filipino foods that I need to uh, tick off when I eat them. This is one of them. I've had this before many, many times. Different wherever you go. Obviously, people make things differently. <laughs> But wherever you go, it's always going to be delicious. Mm. It's a great meal. So another Filipino favourite is the um, mango graham. Made with mangoes. I think um, maybe... Yeah, condensed milk, of course. And uh, mangoes, mango condensed milk, and uh, graham crackers. It's really lovely. Almost, um, it's frozen, so it's like um, like an ice cream there. But that really sweetness to the uh, the condensed or evaporated condensed milk. Mm. Yeah, I know what you want. Yeah, you'd love some of this, wouldn't you? Maybe I'll leave you a little bit. A little bit. You wait. A little, um, little kitten down here asking for food. It's cute. Well looked after. I think I've seen the mum walking around. But the mum isn't begging for food. Just a kitten. I guess the mum's out there catching uh, mice and whatever else they have in here. Lizards, maybe. Do, do cats catch lizards? I don't know. Yeah, so it's all uh, layered up. Crackers, evaporated milk, crackers, a nice bit of mango. Delicious. Nice way to finish a dinner, especially something as savoury as a double. Mm. I fed some uh, kittens in uh, Rizal Park. Uh, my leftovers of Isao and blood, blood, pig's blood. I wasn't too keen on either of them. So I thought I'd take it, find a dog, couldn't find a dog, but I find Spanda, a family of kittens, very, very small ones, and uh, it took them a while to eat it, but they soon tucked in, once the mum turned up, one of them was really brave, one of the kittens, and then the mum turned up, and then the other kittens joined in. Hmm. So my um, stay here at Miami Beach and Porto Galera has come to an end. It's a nice time in the... Uh, oh, let me sit down in the chair. Oh, ah, nice comfy chair on my uh, balcony by the treehouse. So my time in uh, Miami Beach and uh, Porto Galera has come to an end. Only a couple of days. I could have spent much longer here. I think if I really wanted to enjoy this the most, I mean, that's not even with diving, I probably could have done a good five days here and um, seen a lot more. Uh, the island is a lot bigger than you might think it is, so uh, getting around on that motorbike takes a lot longer than I expected. I thought it would, things were like just a ten minute ride down the road when it was more like half an hour. But they, 
was uh, nice. Saw lots of things. Didn't do go exactly the way I planned, but I think it went better than I planned. Didn't do all the things that I wanted to do, but it doesn't matter. I um, chose to do other things because I thought they were um, more interesting, uh, better viewing. So I hope you've enjoyed these videos from Porto Galera. Uh, what can I say about the Imami Beach Resort? Um, really lo lovely place. Uh, exactly what I wanted. Something really rustic and um, down to earth. Somewhere that is very Filipino, very traditional. Uh, and that's exactly what you get here. Uh, you get real life here. You know, if the luxuries in life are for you, staying in hotels with air conditioning, and with um, nicest rooms. And, uh, this isn't what this place is about. This place has got charm and character. It may not be for everyone, but for those people seeking that traditional lifestyle, the way Filipinos really live, then this is a great place to come and stay. And also, if you want to go to the Mangyang village, there are very close connections to the Mangyang village also. So. Um, it's a great way to get in and meet people from the Mangyan village. <laughs> so uh, yeah, from here, from the Amami Beach Resort. Very lovely place to stay, very nice by the sea. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye. <sighs>